Hello everyone, I am Gurneet Kaur, a student of B.Sc. Honours Agriculture. I have prepared a presentation on the production technology of almond. I am very thankful to my course instructor Dr. Prashant Bakshi who has given us this opportunity. The contents of my presentation are scientific classification, introduction, botanical description, climate and soil requirement, plantation, water management, training and pruning, intercropping, pollination, manure and fertilizers, pest management, disease management, harvesting, varieties, uses and the nutritional value of almond. Scientific classification. The scientific name of almond is Prunus dulcis. Common names are badam and almond. The origin is from Iran or Mediterranean region. Family is Rosaceae. Subfamily Amygdaloidae. Genus is Prunus. Subgenus Amygdalus. Species Dulcis. Chromosome number 16. And the edible part is seed. Introduction The almond is the second most popular nut which is widely consumed. Largest producer of almond is United States with the production of about 2 million tons annually. Jammu and Kashmir ranks first in the production of almond in India. Almond contains calcium, magnesium, manganese, copper, vitamin K and zinc, all of which are beneficial for bone health. Raw almonds are hard and bitter in taste due to presence of tannins. They are soaked in water before consuming to make them more edible. Almonds contain high level of vitamin E. One ounce of plain almonds contains 7.27 mg of vitamin E. Wild almonds contain amygdalin, which after ingestion breaks into harmful compounds such as benzaldehyde and cyanide. Nutritional value of almond consists of lipids 50%, protein 25% and carbohydrates 20% and other minor bioactive compounds. The antioxidant variety of almond is due to the presence of phenolic compounds. Botanical description The almond is a deciduous tree growing up to a height of 4 to 10 meter with the trunk up to 30 centimeter in diameter. The young twigs are green at first, becoming purplish when exposed to sunlight, then grey in their second year. The flowers are pale pink to white and have five petals and are produced singly or in pairs. The almond fruit is called droop and is 3.5 to 6 cm long. The outer covering or exocarp is leathery, grey-green coat called the hull. Inside the hull is reticulate, hard woody shell called the endocarp. Inside the shell is the edible seed, generally called the nut. There is generally one nut inside the shell but occasionally two occur. Climate and soil requirement Almond requires climate having slightly hot summers with a temperature ranging 30 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius and cool winters for plant growth and kernel filling. Unopened flowers will stand up to minus 2.2 degrees Celsius, but they are damaged at petal fall stage at 0.5 degrees Celsius to minus 1.1 degrees Celsius. Almonds need full sun, at least 6 hours a day for better blooms. They grow in wide range of soils and the ideal pH range of soil is 7 to 8.5. The best suited soil is loamy, deep and well-drained soils. They do not thrive well in heavy or poorly drained soils. Almond trees are most commonly propagated by budding. Dormant wood is collected in winter when the trees are dormant and stored until spring. Tree budding is usually carried out in spring and involves joining a bud from one variety to the rootstock of another variety. The grafted or budded plants are planted in a square system at a distance of 6 meter into 6 meter, normal farmer planting system, 4 meter into 4 meter, medium high density, 3.5 meter into 3.5 to 2.5 meter high density system. Every third row is planted as pollinizer row. Pits of 3 feet into 3 feet into 3 feet are dug up in the months of September and October before planting. The plants are planted from February to March in the center of the pit with appropriate bamboo supports to protect the almond plants from winds and storms. The bamboo supports help the plants to grow straight. 
water management the critical stages of almond are flowering from february to march and fruit development from april to june watering must be provided at these critical stages for getting higher yield water an almond tree with 3 to 4 inches of water every 2 weeks from june until august mm-hmm. Almond requires about 36 inches of water on average annually for its proper growth. The drip irrigation watering method is very efficient in almond farming. Training and pruning. At the planting time, the tree is head back to 1 meter above the ground. Three primary scaffold branches are retained along with temporary branches below the trunk. only those branches are removed which compete strongly with primary scaffolds almond tree is trained to a shape of modified leader system one year old wood is pruned in december january when the wood is completely dormant and they produce most of the fruit on short spurs which stay fruitful for about 5 years pruning is done in the manner so that one by fifth pruning wood is replaced every year only remove the prune the older branches that are 1.2 to 3.7 cm in diameter the success of pruning can be judged in part by the length of new shoots over the entire tree every year if other factors are not affecting the tree growth intercropping in almonds best intercrops in almond farming are saffron pea pulses carrot seed production in turnip nol khol mustard and the bulb production of onion and garlic aromatic plants and medicinal plants like lavender are also intercropped besides some extra income growing legumes like pulses and peas increases soil fertility turnip and mustard seed production augment to pollination and aromatic and medicinal plants act as insect and pest repellent pollination in almond almonds are self incompatible which require pollination from a tree with different genetic characters to produce seeds almonds orchards grow mixture of varieties every third row in the orchard is provided with pollinizer variety which facilitate pollination generally used varieties as pollinizers are ixl varis and ne plus ultra placement of 4 to 6 bee hives are found highly beneficial and can increase the fruit set and yield by 12 to 15 percent manure and fertilizers almond is a heavy feeder and require good amount of fertilizers and manure well rotten farmyard manure is required at the rate of 20 to 25 kg per tree during winter to fall that is from december to jan fertilizers are generally applied on the basis of leaf nutrient analysis and soil test urea should be applied in 2 to 3 split doses first half is applied with full dose of dap and mop 15 days before the expected bloom second half dose of urea that is 1 by 4th is applied 3 weeks after fruit set last half dose of urea that is 1 by 4th is applied during may june weed management in almond widely used method of feeding in almond is cultivation shallow rooted and smaller weeds are uprooted by cultivation a mix of tractor mounted cultivar and hand weeding is used organic herbicides like weed farm having 20% acetic acid green match having 55% d-limonene etc contain natural oils some weeds are cyanodon dactylon xanthium species and erodium species etc pest management common pests in almond are peach twig borer leaf ro- rollers ants sanjo scale scale insect wood boring beetle tent caterpillar sting bugs oriental fruit moth peach silver mite etc leaf roller they are occasionally pests of almond the larvae feed on developing nuts and hollow them out many of the nuts are lost in june drop reducing yield 
treatment is required when the number of leaf rollers is high bacillus thuringiensis spinosad and methoxyphenoxide are used as insecticides sand juice scales these scales suck plant juices from twigs and limbs and inject a toxin resulting in loss of vigor growth productivity and death of limbs sand juice scales has many natural enemies low to moderate occurrence can be managed with oil sprays during dormant season natural enemies that feed on sand juice scale include two predaceous beetles the twig stabbed lady beetle chylocorus orbis and another small beetle psychocephalus californicus oriental fruit moth the second and third generation larvae mine into the twigs causing them to wilt and die third and the fourth generation larvae feed on the hull and the shell these pets are generally managed by pheromone traps which should be placed in orchards by february 15th to trap adult moths disease management some common diseases of almond which are caused by various agents are almond leaf scorch crown gall hull rot leaf blight rust scab verticillium wilt almond kernel shrivel etc almond brown line and decline trees become stunted leaf droops and appear wilted shoot growth is abnormally shortened and on removing the bark brown necrotic areas can be seen this disease is associated with peach yellow leaf roll phytoplasma and is transmitted by sila pyricola stunted trees should be removed and replaced with repellents since propagation of these trees will produce disease trees obtain trees from the nurseries which use budwood sources tested free for pathogens almond leaf scorch this disease is caused by bacteria xylella fastidiosa it appears as marginal scorching of leaves and continues throughout the summer a golden yellow band develops between the brown necrotic edge and the inner green tissues of the leaf this disease is also known as golden death for young orchards the first course of management is to remove the infected tree almond anthracnose this disease is caused by colletotrichum species symptoms include blossom blight and spur and limb dieback infected nuts show sunken round orangish lesions on the hull profuse gumming occurs when the infection progresses into kernels diseased fruit die and turn into mummies which remain attached to the tree fungicide treatment is the most common strategy but must be coupled with cultural practice to achieve the best control in the orchards with history of anthracnose fungicides like the coni or liquicorp are sprayed beginning at 5 to 10% bloom and are repeated every 14 days if rain persists harvesting and post harvest handling at the end of the july the hull of almonds begins to split open from mid to late august the split widens which exposes the shell this allows the net to dry at more than 50% split stage the nuts are normally harvested by manual plucking rain may damage the nuts harvesting is done by gently knocking the branches bearing fruits with sticks later on the hull is removed manually after hulling the nuts are sun dried or force dried by hot air until the moisture content reaches 5 to 7% after drying almonds are shelled that is the shell of almond is removed shelled and unshelled almonds are packed in cartons or fiber bulk bins for further storage or transportation every yield of almond is approximately 1 to 2 tons per hectare varieties of almonds some of the commercial varieties of almonds in india are non perel a large tree that produces large smooth thin shelled almonds with 60 to 65% edible kernel per nut requires pollination from other almond varieties for good nut production ixl the brownish nuts of ixl consist of soft shell of an intermediate color 
the kernels are plumpy and medium in size sonora medium to large size almonds of sonora variety produces elongated and light colored shells the shell is paper thin california paper shell this mid to late season variety features a papery shell of a light brown hue kernels are excellent flavored but are susceptible to bird damage ne plus ultra also known as ne plus this it features a flat and long kernel encased within an elongated shell the almonds have slight wrinkles but are well sealed ruby this almond variety matures late and is popular for its semi hard shell its kernel comes in medium to small size uses of almonds almonds are used in wide range of desserts like almond bread almond butter cakes and puddings almond cream filled pastries etc almonds can be processed into a milk substitute called almond milk the nut soft texture mild flavor and light coloring make an efficient analog to dairy and a soy free choice for lactose intolerant people and vegans almond flour or ground almond meal combined with sugar or honey as marzipan is often used as a gluten free alternative to wheat flour in cooking and baking almonds are its source of oil with 50% of kernel dry mass as fat the oil is a rich source with vitamin e containing 32% monounsaturated oleic acid 13% linoleic acid and 10% saturated fatty acid the nutritional value almond contains vitamins like vitamin b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b9 and vitamin e and any other minerals like copper manganese magnesium phosphorus zinc calcium and potassium some questions almond belongs to the family rosaceae almond is rich in vitamin e the seed of almond is enclosed in a leathery coat called hull the bitterness of almond is due to the presence of tannins Pollinized varieties of almonds are IXL, Varis, and Ne Plus Ultra. California paper shell variety of almond is susceptible to bird damage. The optimum moisture level of almond for storage or commercial use is five to seven percent. The largest producer of almond in the world is United States. Jammu and Kashmir produces the highest amount of almond in India. Thank you.